So if you couldn't tell, I'm really into stationery in school, so I'm not taking the word essentials lightly, and everything I've listed in this video is something I genuinely view as top-notch, and I've also ranked them in order of what I think gives the greatest value for the price. Also, I really quickly wanted to say that you definitely do not need to have super expensive stationery or a ton of stationery or really fancy gadgets to be a successful student. I tried just as hard to get straight A's way back when, when I didn't have an iPad for notes and I didn't have lots of different stationery. And honestly, all you really need to be a successful student is just positive, focused mindset, hard work, and a pen and paper. So the essential number two that you definitely need for school is a notebook or a binder. So the first one is a Muji notebook. I really love the quality of Muji's paper. It's just really different than normal paper. It's a lot easier to write on with a pen. It's very, very smooth and it almost feels soft when you touch it. I don't really know how to describe it. But I also love the notebooks because they're really light and just the right size. And you could actually write all of your notes for one class into one notebook, at least if you're taking a class per semester. Probably if you're taking it for the whole year, then you'd need two notebooks. But for one semester class, you could definitely write all of your notes into one notebook if you just write pretty small and then you also use post-it. It's really compact and just a great way to have less space taken up in your backpack and at the same time have a really nice convenient notebook.
So one of my top technology related school essentials is Grammarly, the sponsor of today's video. So Grammarly is a digital writing assistant and I've been using it since my senior year of high school to help me avoid grammatical errors in my essays, work, and emails since I tend to type really fast. So sometimes I miss all the little errors that I make and Grammarly helps out with that. So Grammarly is available for the iPad and the free Grammarly gives you spelling and grammar suggestions and it also finds synonyms for words and gives multi-word text predictions. And the Grammarly Premium gives even more additional suggestions that are designed to make your writing even more engaging and effective. And I personally love Grammarly Premium suggestions because especially now that my classes are getting more and more writing intensive for my communications major, it's really helpful to have a wide variety of different suggestions for different words I could use and phrasing to just make my essays more interesting and varied and engaging and not sound the same all the time. So be sure to go to grammarly.com slash studies of success to sign up for a free account and you'll also get 20% off of Grammarly Premium today.
it comes to backpacks, I honestly have only primarily used my Kankin backpack for the past three and a half years, so I can't really give any really broad reviews for backpacks because I had an issue where for three years in a row, I had my backpack break every single year in the middle of the school year. So that was a disaster. And then I finally got the Kankin backpack and it genuinely has lasted a really long time considering I used it for the years when I had the most things to carry to school. If you are getting a Kankin, I recommend getting the Kankin number two because it comes with padded shoulder straps and it also has a separately padded 15 inch laptop compartment so it's also a bit bigger and can fit more things. And then recently I also got this donut backpack. I just saw it on the internet and I thought oh my gosh this is the cutest backpack I have ever seen in my entire life and I have to have you please come to me. So yeah I kind of was a little bit swept away by how adorable it was but that's not the only reason. I read a lot of reviews of donut backpacks and the vast majority of them were really positive about people using them for many years and them being really sturdy and carrying a lot of different devices. It just overall seems like a very solid company in a backpack, so that's why I ended up getting it. Hopefully the reviews will hold up. So now we're going to move on to my optional essentials, meaning these are just items that I use frequently for notes or just overall for school that I think you could find useful as well. So first off are brush pens and I just have to say that again, the Crayola Super Temps come at number one. I have no idea how is it that I never tried Crayola Super Temps up until now, but they are just mind blowing me the more that I use them. I just think that they are absolutely incredible for the price that they're at and the number of colors that you get. So you can really easily do lettering with them and I haven't really had any issues. I think just once you kind of get the hang of it, really simple. And the colors are amazing. It's really smooth and easy to do it. And then also on top of that, I didn't realize this, but the blending is amazing. It's so easy to blend the Crayola Super Tips. And if you're really into lettering and pretty titles, then you know that blending is really important if you want to have the whole galaxy or just a really cool extra effect. But with these Crayola Super Tips, it's so easy to blend them. So I am just honestly right now just absolutely mind blown by Crayola Super Tips and I highly, 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 highly recommend that if you want to start getting into brush pen lettering, brush brush lettering, sorry, then I would definitely start off with Crayola Super Tips because instead of going and investing into mild liner brush pens or Tombow brush pens, which are already more expensive, a lot more expensive, I would say just try out Crayola Super Tips first and really get good at them and comfortable with them and try out everything you possibly can. There are a lot of really great tutorials on YouTube that you can watch 
And once you've gotten really the hang of those, then I would decide about getting Tombows or Mild Liners or Karen Markers or anything more expensive. Because honestly, if you're not like super into lettering and making super advanced fancy work of arts, seriously, Crayola Super Tips are all you need for really cute notes. <music> Uncle Pixel! <laughs> 